Hey guys. Y'all are so beautiful. I love you. Hi friends. I just got off work. I got a donut. I'm going to be out of breath talking, walking, and eating. It is the Monday before Thanksgiving break. So I was like, hey, work's not going to be that bad. Everyone's going to go home. Wrong? Because everyone was like, hey, how about I save my assignments till the day before it's due? So I was busy for all four hours today, which was great. It's okay, because I got a good donut. Now I'm on my way home. I need to finish my homework because <laughs> I didn't get any of it done during that. Maybe actually read for fun. We'll see. Guys, I'm doing this clip not to complain, but just to show you that I'm on my grind. I am currently texting my boss at PetSmart all my information about my social security to get employed there for tomorrow. I'm in a group chat right now for a company that's like a career thing for if you want to work there, you're gonna ask questions and I'm so lost. Oh my gosh, be on your grind, kids. I don't know what's happening, people are messaging, oh God. Everyone's like, I'm doing my master's right now for finance. I'm just like, I'm an undergrad. Pray for me. I haven't made an official start to this vlog and I apologize for that. You're just getting random clips, but the life of a college senior is, I'm reading all these poems for class tomorrow because I put them off until the last minute story of my life. But I was expecting this to be several pages is long but when I turned the page I realized this section ends on the next page while we're here let's do a little fancy time lapse of me doing my homework because I straightened my hair because I was avoiding doing my homework <laughs> hey vlog I stole Whitney's camera because she left her room unlocked just thought that'd be funny Stop it. Stop. Ooh, this is HD. <laughs> Where'd she get this camera? Where'd she get this? I don't know why I'm vlogging this, but like, whatever. I figured might as well keep it real. I just had a good cry because we had a paper proposal for one of my classes for our final essay. So I wrote mine based on what I thought he wanted from the example. He's like, you have way too much. You need to narrow it down. B minus. Can this bitch shut up about getting a B? Which like, I'm recording this because it sucks and everyone's like, oh, you always get good grades all the time. Like, how do you do that? Like, no, <laughs> I'm not perfect. Do this, get this out of your system, and then come back to it after Thanksgiving break. Psych, it's after Thanksgiving break and I'm still mad about it. Reread these comments and fix it, because that's all you can do. So this clip is dumb and I'm crying and it's, ugh, who cares? But I feel like I always give off the image, like, oh, I'm, I'm great at writing papers, I work in the writing center. Even though I'm graduating in three weeks, this still happens. So woohoo, my first B in this class. I thought I did it right and it wasn't right. But side note, I'm packing to go home right now. I actually have work and like, 10 minutes, so I have to clean up my face for that. But next time I vlog, I'll be at home. Ich bin zu Hause. Hello, I, Mother Novels. No, ma'am. I'm gonna go see my bookshelves because I haven't seen them in a week. Bless is bless. <laughs> the bread of God is bread. <laughs> <laughs> they shall eat bread. bread. <laughs> Hi, baby. By the way, I know YouTube is not books for trade, but I'm looking for an Avlios arc with this cover art. I almost just dropped it. If you have one or know where I can get one, hit me up. I have my bookshelf set up back. Yeah, I got rid of my Throne of Glass series and look at that massive chunk in my shelf space. Then we have some stuff over there. And then <laughs> so much crap on the bottom of here, but more all the way over here. My camera's about to die, I need to charge it. But I am going to, oh gosh, and more right here. <laughs> I'm gonna clean up some of this stuff and rearrange a little bit. And then I work at 1 p.m. tomorrow. Hi, Miss Mel. Did you miss me? Hi, sweet girl. You wanna sniff? Hi, five. Stairs looking for you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's gonna be a great week. Ugh, I think I've mentioned this in previous vlogs, but I get into this mindset before I have to go into PetSmart where just every cell in my body doesn't want to do it. And every minute and every hour up until I have to get in the car and leave and go, I just like sit here and dread it. And it never happened for my internship over the summer. When I had regular nine to five hours, it was an easy day. It was fine, but for some reason doing shifts where it's 
not predictable and where I'm on my feet all day and where I'm like stuck in camp for hours at a time. It's just like, <sighs> I know as soon as I get there, I'll love it, but I'm kind of freaking out. So I'm gonna try and calm myself down and not just like stare at the clock and dread when it hits one o'clock tomorrow. I'm gonna get into some PJs first and foremost. I got my books. Honestly, both of these are very depressing for me to be reading right now. I'll continue with one of these depending on what mood I end up being in, but hopefully I finish both of those this break. <laughs> A lot of people have been saying that stalking Jack the Ripper is really boring in the beginning. <laughs> Who can relate? Woo! Okay, PJ time, then lay in bed time, and try not to hate my lifetime. I'm just gonna keep on with this complaining thing because it helps me vent. But I woke up at 8.30 a.m. today before my one o'clock shift being like, okay, I'll have like four hours to just rest. And then I looked at my phone right after I woke up and my boss asked if I can come in early. <sighs> So I accepted because I'd rather get off earlier, but now I've literally like been sitting up in bed staring at the wall just like deep breathing for the past 30 minutes. I have like 45 minutes before I have to even get ready to go. I just hate this so much. I do this every single day. I don't know how I did this for an entire summer. This is my job. This look comes with the French talk. The water bottle. I left my phone at home today, which was which was real festive. So it's now 30 minutes before my shift ends. And they're, they're angry. Dog tour. So over here you have Dirk and Daisy. That's Hooper. Hooper. He looks like a basketball. I'm vlogging. That's Madeline. She has a book too. Go subscribe. <laughs> this Pepper, my favorite. Prince Harry. He's very itchy. That's Sunny. We stand. I put that towel down so I could squeegee the floor so it's nice and dry. And he decided, ooh, free real estate for a bed. Here's the Keller High School band. That's my people. Hi. What'd you see? Yeah? You little squeaker. You want to come out? Come out. Oh my gosh, do you hear her squeaking? Yeah. Now, what's wrong? Just hanging out with Hooper, the basketball. Hey, give me a kiss. You having fun? Good evening, Mama. Are you angry? You look angry. Look at that tail. Very angry swish happening. Very angry. Hi. This vlog is 90% animals, and I'm really not even that sorry. Hi, Mama. Hi. I'm in peach camp, so I can finally do a vlog clip. Let's see if I can bend down without being attacked. Hi. Ignore the dogs playing in the background. But hello, I haven't vlogged in a couple days. I'm in my happy place right now, I'm sorry. I have two moods when I'm working at PetSmart. It's either at PetSmart, hi Sophie. I'm either at PetSmart, I'm talking. I'm either at PetSmart, I mean, I'm either at PetSmart or on the couch. Right now, I'm at PetSmart. Later on, I'll be on the couch. But today's my last day. Tag yourself, I'm this dog trying to escape. Okay, so hopefully I should get more reading done. I think I'm on like page 56 of Stalking Jack the Ripper, but I've been sitting on my butt when I'm home from work because y'all are tiring. I love you, I know, I know, you're so tiring. Well, this is my job. Y'all play nice. We mostly just stand and sniff each other. Sometimes we do a big yawn. Other times we harass the small dog who is enjoying it. Sometimes we do a snoozle. Sometimes we hide. Sometimes we're thirsty bitches. Sometimes we're horny. Stop! No horny! So I look real great right now. Nice and frizzy for y'all. But today's the last day. There's a dog behind my leg. I get off at 9.30. It's currently 3.30. Tonight I'm going to read. Just kidding. I'm going to apply for jobs and make a portfolio. I told you this vlog would be boring. This is the best day of my life. I have two dogs laying on me. I'll be good. 
Trapper. Hey, don't be horny. It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. Driving home from work. Hi, pals. Oh, that was kind of cute. Let's keep it there. No, I ruined it. As you can see from the timestamp, it's late or early. I came back to school today. So today as I was packing up, my mom was like, all right, get your stuff together. Time to go back. I just had a whole meltdown. Like I was four. Like I was mad. I was like throwing stuff in my suitcase and I was just like smack talking. The whole reason behind it was I don't want to go back. But I was ranting like I shouldn't have worked this whole week. I feel like I didn't do any of my homework. I have so much left to do. I'm so stressed. So it just felt like garbage having accomplished nothing except making money that I just spent on Black Friday. Even like during the car ride to school for like the first hour, my dad was just listening to the radio. I had headphones in. I thought I was being really subtle, like crying. An hour into the ride, he reached over and put his hand on my knee and asked if I was okay. And I was like, <laughs> No. I talked about this in my journal earlier. I don't know if this is a relatable thing for anyone else, but this is the way I thought of it. You know when you have to go to the bathroom so bad and you've been holding it for so long and then you get to the bathroom and then the time it takes you to undo your button and like get all ready to sit down, it's just like suddenly the floodgates open. It's like that. It's like you're rushing for the bathroom. You're almost there. You're literally in sight of the toilet, but somehow your body just lets it all go. That's kind of like me right now with school is I am so close to that graduation date. There's like 19 days till I graduate, but something about that date and the fact that I have to read two books in between there and write a whole research paper and two other additional papers for capstone and all that different stuff. It's just like, you're this close, but you've got to do all this to get there. And it's just draining my motivation. I'm just so ready to be done. Like I want to go home and stay home and lay in bed. This entire vlog, I kept being like, here's what I'm doing, blah, blah, blah. I'll read later. And then I never read. Do you wanna know what page I'm on of Stalking Jack the Ripper? I read maybe 15 pages of this over the entire five day break. People have been saying, oh, upload your vlogs so that they're smaller, but we're what, like 10, 15 minutes into this vlog and I haven't read a single thing, which I know I disclaimed a couple vlogs ago, like I wanna do more lifestyle vlogging so I can capture these last months at school. But I feel like this is too cruel because nothing has happened. Ugh, I just remembered I was supposed to shower tonight. I was like, ugh. Do that later. What is this? I look like the Phantom of the Opera after his wig got snatched. Okay, bye. I found this cover of Miranda Cosgrove's About You Now on Spotify. A whole bop. Wanted to do a little clip to update you on what the happenings are, which are hardly anything. It is midnight o'clock and I have two books that I need to read by tomorrow that I have not read. One of them's easy. I'm going to finish it and like 30 or 45 minutes. The other one is gonna be a good little spark notes time. I have to read the first book of the selected poems of Emily Dickinson. I'm not familiar with Emily Dickinson. I bought a collection of hers in like 2014 or 2015 back when I was like, I'm gonna read poetry. And then I didn't. <laughs> I'm enjoying them. I'm updating about this because I have not read anything else. I keep making plans for like, as soon as I graduate, I'll do this. As soon as I graduate, I'll have time to do this. So I guarantee in like literally, give me three weeks and I won't have any schoolwork left to do. I won't be up at 5 a.m. Well, I mean, I'll be up at 5 a.m. reading, but I won't be up at 5 a.m. procrastinating. I have nowhere to set my camera up to give you a montage of me reading, but that's what I'm gonna do. Oh God, my pen just almost stabbed me. I paid $20 for this shirt before Restore Me came out and God damn it, I'm gonna wear it. <laughs> Me reading poetry is just like, uh-huh. And I'm like, that's so pretty. What does it mean? I'm liking this more than Wordsworth and whoever else we read this semester just because this sounds pretty, even though I don't comprehend it. I'm just like, but the rhyme. Whereas the others are confusing and they don't have a rhyme. So it's just like words all together. I'm 30 pages into 78 pages. And then I'm going to Google summary of The Hounds of Baskerville that I have to read for my Sherlock class because I don't have time to watch a movie or a TV show about it. That unfortunately is what I cannot tell you. Have you among your neighbors or acquaintances on Dartmoor any man with a black full beard? No. Oh, let me see. Why, yes, animal. Sir Charles Butler is a man with a full black beard. It's clear enough that so long as there are none of the family at the hall, these people have a mighty fine home and nothing to do. 
He and his wife had 500 pounds each. Dear me, it is a stake for which a man might well play a desperate game. And one more question, Dr. Mortimer. Supposing that anything happened to our young friend here, but you can understand that with my extensive consulting practice and with the constant appeals which reach me from many quarters, it is impossible for me to be absent from London for an indefinite time. So I'm here with the Bonnie. Hey, sisters! She's trying to get she's trying to get 900 subscribers before her birthday, but I'm getting her 1,000 subscribers before her birthday, so everyone I'm here... I am ambitious. Every single one of you better go subscribe to her, even if you unsubscribe the day after her birthday. <laughs> go give her love, because she's my favorite. Her vlogs are funnier than mine, and she has a cute dog, and I am going to harass every single one of you until December 19th to go subscribe to her. That's my mini aside. But the reason I'm vlogging is because she vetoed my decision to keep this vlog going. She was like, you gotta, you gotta end it. Plus, other people on my survey were like, hey, you should upload your vlogs more often and make them shorter so that we can see stuff. But I feel like I always want to keep them going just because I'm like, but I didn't read anything, which is the case for this vlog is I was like, I'm gonna read now and then I didn't. I read some poetry for class, so that counts. Ooh, I mentioned this in my last clip. I started the audiobook for The Hounds of Baskerville for my, my other class, but I, I read some things. I didn't read a lot, so even though nothing happened, at least you can have a dog vlog from Thanksgiving, and next time I vlog, I will hopefully finish my reading. I just had to clap one out for the dogs. I love them dogs. That's the disclaimer, that's the warning, is this vlog is ending even though nothing happened. So thank you for watching, even though happy you were like, she didn't even do anything. Ukulele clip. I swore I'd never be like them, but I was just a kid back then. The older I get, the more that I see My parents aren't heroes, they're just like me And loving is hard, it don't always work You just try your best not to get hurt I used to be mad, but now I know Sometimes it's better to let someone go it just hadn't hit me yet The older I get, 